one, go! Gentlemen, build your engines. Cranks are in, cams are going in. Are there uh, any high schoolers here today? See some hands? Got one right over here. Do you have any college plans yet, sir? Not yet, okay. Have you looked at Southeast Community College? Okay, come down, we'll feed you lunch and you look at our programs. Right now they are lining up the timing marks. You have a dot to dot. side over here. Who thinks yeah. Guys out here uh, that work as a mechanic for a living, see a show of hands. We've got a few out here. That's good to see. It's never too old to start. If you ever think about a career in uh, the automotive industry, we start students at any age. Just like you're never too old to learn something. Some of us feel that way sometimes, but never too old to learn something new. Yeah, that's right. Does anybody have any kid, any questions for the engine build team? Where do they work at? Uh, well. Yeah, Matt works for Performance Chrysler in uh, La Vista, and Larry, service manager, is here somewhere. There's Larry. I, I work with Larry. I've been working with Larry for about six years now, growing technicians. So we're kind of married together on, on his end of it, too. So The next gentleman beside him works for West Point Auto Plaza, West Point, Nebraska. Jeremy, are you having fun with that piston? Not really. Mike works for Roden Dodge. Justin works for Baxter's in Omaha. You lose ring there. It's always smoother during practice. I feel the pressure today. What's the record, The record is about 16 and a half minutes. Uh, the best practice time we had was right at 17.
He said, if they can build an engine in 20 minutes, how come it takes an hour to change the oil? It's all of the tender love and care that your car gets during that oil change, sir. Okay, how many pistons we got in here, guys? We got seven pistons in. You're rolling. With your own clockwise, so get to your two to one. Which way? Go ahead, Ian. You're gonna be clockwise. Sometimes Justin likes to show off and push the pistons in by his hand. Just like that. That's how he gets bloody knuckles. Yes. That's a good question. Are there any female technicians out there? In the industry, yeah. I haven't had a student yet, but you know the market's open to it. And you know what? I've seen some really good female technicians. They, they tend to be a little more, uh, what do they call that? Logical in their thinking. They don't throw wrenches and you know have the little tantrums. Not for these guys, they never do that. We got an oil pan on, sitting at 6 minutes and 50 seconds. Anybody else have a question? Some Chrysler chamois to give away. If anybody's got a question, they double as a crying towel if you're having a bad day. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, it's made out of a special forged aluminum. It's aluminum, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's forged for extra strength. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, I don't know. Give the old filter starter. Yeah, I have uh, some cap information about the Dino Chrysler cap program. The next class starts July of next year, July of 2008. Uh, get with your local service manager if you're interested in becoming a technician in the Dino Chrysler cap program. It consists of a 21 month program where you get into the program, you spend four quarters on campus and three quarters out working in the dealership. So you're out making money while you're learning. Rolling it, look. A lot of these guys can pretty much graduate debt free because they've earned money to pay for their tuition driving. along the way. Yes, sir. Five four, five four. How much four. does it cost to get in? I've got a cost sheet right up there for you. Got all the information, so. Yeah, these are collector's items. They still say Daimler Chrysler on them and Daimler flew the coop, so we're, once again, we are an American product. Woo! Uh, good question. Yeah, financially. It, it varies quite a bit on an entry-level technician, but you, it, it has a lot to do with your training and motivation. Whoa. Motivation would probably be the key factor. But most most technicians coming in the field their first year can easily make twenty-five thousand, and then it goes up from there with skill and ability. We're sitting at 9 minutes and 50 seconds. Can you feel the burn? 
Oh, go ahead, Bolts. So, Justin, are you running ahead of schedule? Sure, me. I think I think he's focused on the task here. How are you coming, Mike? I'm just feeling the burn. That's good. One of the guys said he's watching Speed Channel this morning, and they put together a Ford engine in 16 minutes and ran. 351. But he said the entire engine was studded, so they had put nuts on everything. That's a lot of nuts. Jeremy, your sock is stuck in there. Sure. Got some more chamois to give away. We have some more questions. Anybody? He is using 5W30 oil. Where did that question come from? Why 530? Because it pours real fast. What's that? Synthetic oil is, is a very good oil. It's, it's got a design purpose. Uh, the downfall is in Nebraska we have hot and cold weather and it still can't eat the condensation. So you still have to change your oil on time. Yes. In our classroom, we use the vehicles that are donated by Daimler Chrysler. Uh, recently, they donated a 2006 Durango. Has a Hemi in it. Who likes the Hemi? All right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, at the college, we schedule work in uh, accordingly to what we're doing each quarter. And we try to make sure it's relevant to what we're working with. Uh, we don't charge anything for our labor. So when you're at the college and we work on your vehicle, you only pay for parts. Yes, sir. Okay, how many are in a class and what's the percentage to graduate? Uh, I average about anywhere from 8 to 10 students per, per class. And, you know, unless they're a zero, they're, they're all going to graduate. Okay. And usually I let the dealership do the weeding for me. I tell them to hire the student first. And if you can go to work and you look like a good prospect, you're gonna succeed in this business. I've been, I'm an instructor for the Chrysler CAP program. I've been there for just about six years. I spent the 13 years before that in the dealership as a line tech, worked on everything. Yeah, do it. Don't matter, don't matter. Okay, he has a question. Why does Ford have a 520 oil? Well, with Chrysler, they have a whole bunch of different oils that they like to use, uh, depending on what engine you're using. We may have, like in a Viper engine, they go with the synthetic. Uh, some of the other engines have a 520 or a 530. Uh, but if you look on the oil fill cap, it'll tell you what you're supposed to have or in the owner's manual for the service information. Again, they're pretty pretty particular about what oil is sticking each engine. Uh, we also have a general auto program, an auto body program, and we have a Ford GM program as well. So.
Any of you guys that are gearheads that like to do your own engine work, uh, about every quarter we have an engine machining class that we have down on the Milford campus Thursday night. So for what it would cost you, and actually it's probably less than what it costs you to haul your engine in and bore it out, you could go take the class yourself, bore it out yourself, and know how to do all of your engine machining yourself. What about four cylinders? <laughs> oh yeah. It's like we're on the home stretch here. 50 minutes, 49 seconds. <laughs> Bragging rights. Okay, go. Okay, we got headers on. Got the stand on. 16.25. I'll get the spark plug. Why don't you get the air cleaner? Yeah. Put your away. Before they can start their engines, they have to put their tools back on the tool board. Isn't that what they do in the shop? Is they always pick up their tools before they start the car? Ready? Talk about teamwork, they're going to help them get the other one started. For sure. That's lifetime warranty. It's dead. Thanks, everybody. If you have any